this is the Release 41 community live stream. Yesterday we released Release 41 to the community. You guys are, many of you are playing right now in the dance party. Uh, we have developers that are in the dance party as well. And there are other community events that are kicking off this weekend. In fact, let me, uh, let me double, do a double check. You guys can't hear the music anymore, but you can hear me, I hope, right? If you're in Twitch chat or Discord, we're monitoring both right now. We're going to be giving away some cool prizes. You guys know we do that every single time. I've got a double up of all the prizes again. We've got three different things we're giving away. In fact, I'll list those off right now. we got Sigil for a Cloak of your choice. That's a combat, magic, or crafting cloak. We have three of those cloaks in the store. In fact, this, today we put out a three-pack of those. So you can, if you want all three, you can go and get all three. But we're giving away, of your choice, one of those to two lucky winners. Also, ornate backpack, quite popular. Oh, I just saw that. I, I like yeah, it's cool, isn't I want, it? I want one of those. Yeah, I, I got to get one for my character too, which sure, I think I have somewhere. Them. Yeah, sure, friend him, why not? Yeah, I, I, I'm like Lord British, I friend everybody. So we're giving away two of the backpacks, and of your choice again, the ornate satire, sat, 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 satire, I think it is. Somebody correct me on how you pronounce that. Satir, Bardish, and Seder. Or Seder, there we go. Seder or Bardish. So it's two weapons in the store. You get your choice of one or the other. These are new ones right at the front of the store. And we're giving away two. So what else do we got here? Uh, paid. We got questions already coming in. And if you got questions throughout the live stream for me, for when we uh, bring in Star, he's going to talk about a couple things real quick. He's super excited about Release 41 as well. He's dancing the dance party right now too. We got Spoon behind me. Hi, Spoon. How's it going? Salute to you, sir. And we've got other developers that are going to be coming on to show you a couple of different scenes. Like I said, Travis is here with us right now. He's going to be sh showing us the latest on Soul Spirit Outskirts. And as we've been talking about over the last couple of weeks, we have three outskirts scenes overall that are coming to the game. Soul Spirit Outskirts is in the game right now. You can check it out. So what you see today with Travis, you're going to be able to check out in the game. Uh, although we're going to be using Unity, so there may be some tweaks or something that you know are not yet fixed in the game. I don't know. But basically, you'll see the outskirts, and it's pretty cool. And ne the next part two, which is not next week, but a couple of weeks from now, in May, we're going to have a part two of outskirts to continue the showing you of these scenes. And that's going to be about High Vale, and then the third and final outskirts, or at least the final for the moment, of the three that we initially uh, are planning for the game. So you're going to see a lot of cool stuff for these uh, coming up. Stay tuned to the weekly updates as well for details. These guys post in the forums on a regular basis about these outskirt scenes. Really cool screenshots that they show off. So you're going to want to check those out as well. In fact, the weekly update for this week just went out earlier this afternoon. You get you should get an email if you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, go to the front page of the website or if you sign up for the game, I believe you're automatically subscribed and you'll get those emails on a weekly basis. So we talked about prizes. Uh, we introduced you, although a lot of these guys know you. In fact, you've been like in combat with some of these guys in PvP. Uh, quite good, I hear. Somebody wants to know the party is. Lux, Lux Sanctuary. Sanctuary. Yep, it's wrapping up right now, but we've got still Rada. How are you doing, Rod Torment? We've got other players who are in here. I just backed off a little bit because, you know, I'm kind of a, I guess you could say a party pooper. I like to just kind of hang out on the edge, you know, like preferably where the drinks are, and that's usually along the edge, or where the food is. And me too. Sort of yeah. like, and right now I'm just taking a breather. Uh, spoon. Other players, in fact, they're all like swarming me now, which I guess the party the party moves to me. What can I say? So it doesn't start till I get here, and it certainly doesn't end till I get here. All right, so we've got a whole bunch of you guys in the chat right now. I'm looking at Twitch and Discord. Drake, how you doing? Dragur, how are you? RP, Zach, I recognize you. Some live streamers in the chat as well. Welcome. We've been, speaking of live streamers, we've been working on this schedule for you guys. Now, it doesn't have to be a professional live streamer. If you just like playing the game and going on Twitch, talking about it, running through the zones and scenes and just kind of having fun, you know, live streaming, I want to know about it because what we're doing right now is putting together a schedule, a, a, kind of a tentative schedule of all the times and days that 
you like to live stream. So we've got Marky e. Dragon on board. We've got uh, ZB, I think I messaged, or RP Zach, excuse me. I messaged you at one point. And most of the other live streamers said, if you guys check Twitch out on a regular basis to see who's live streaming, we probably contact you. If we haven't, let me know. We'll get you into the schedule. And then soon, I don't know about next week, but maybe the week after, we're going to have a schedule posted publicly to the community that says, this guy on Friday from whenever to whenever, this one li live streams all weekend, etc. So you can, you know, that's cool. Yeah, promotes the live streamers, and you can check out who is live streaming. It's and it's all tentative. We don't, we're not like, you know, if they're not live streaming, we're gonna kick them off the calendar unless they do that like for months in a row or something. There's a lot of good ones. Yeah, yeah it, we've got a ton of live streamers and a ton of damn Obsidian Tempest. How are you doing? We've got uh, it's the names are overlapping here a little bit, but Br Rubus, Rubus Bramble. And Maxine, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm like ignoring them right now. I'm like, <laughs> I'm turning away. I'm not going to listen to you guys. I just look over the shoulder. It's like, <laughs> you know, let me turn around. Hey, guys, here we go. So if you're not in the game, feel free to join us while you're watching the, the live stream here. We're just, uh, yeah, yeah. what? What did I do? Oh, no, you're fine. No, that'll work. Yeah, it'll cheer. Woohoo, there we go. Everybody move to me. Uh, whoop, I missed the spell dance. All right. Stuff what? will just stab me with a poison knife I saw on my computer. Oh, are you, are you back there with your character? I, I, I don't know how you got that. Well, that's what you get for being on live stream. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, what else we got here? Uh, the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we released a contest to the community earlier this week, and it's <coughs> called the Magnificent Trophy Room Contest. It's actually been going on for a few days now. And it's ba it's pretty simple. There's three parts. If you guys don't know about this contest and you have a lot, a house, or somebody that you can you know gain access to their house to decorate, this contest uh, I'm very excited about because it has a couple of different things that you have to do for it. You have to t take screenshots as normal of your hunting down a creature. Uh, there's a couple of different things here. Hunting down a creature, killing a person to get their skull. Yes, you can do that in PvP. Uh, or fishing. Fishing is a possibility as well. All three of those will, at the end, gain you the ability to get a trophy that you can place in a trophy room. A room in your house that has a whole bunch of trophies. So that's the first step. Second step is obviously to create the trophy. Now, if it's a skull from a person, the skull's already set and ready to go. You can, you know, pretend you're polishing it or something if you want, but it doesn't need any special attention. Third step is to place it in your or somebody's home that gives you permission to decorate into a nice, awesome trophy room. And if you want to take part in that, I, I there's been a couple of entries so far. They're very cool, and I want to see what the rest of the community comes up with. So we got that going right now. We're ending the, the, the dance party. This thing may go on all night. I don't know. We'll, uh, we're going to depart here in a minute once I get done talking about some of the news of the week from you guys. Uh, community events are kicking off throughout the week as well. And then we're going to move. After I talk about that stuff, we're going to get Star in here. He's going to talk about a couple quick things and then answer your questions too. So if you have questions now or when Star gets in here, feel free to ask them on Twitch or Discord. And we'll try to grab those. What else we got? R41 Welcome Quest tomorrow at noon central time in Fallen Green Player Own Town. That's a community event kicking off. Also, May Day on May 1st, Celebrate Spring Event by Minerva in Ordinus Mortis. I hope I pronounced that right, Minerva. Ordinus Mortis, very cool town. I don't believe we've spotlighted it yet, so I got to talk to Minerva about that one. That's a good one. They always got stuff going on. Yeah, they've got this really crazy. It's not a, it's a, I don't know what they call it, but that dungeon, the dance dungeon. Yeah, I don't know if that's uh, supposed to be public knowledge. I think that might be. Oh, uh, I didn't say the name. Right. <laughs> secret. It's secret. Cool. It's Spoiler. Cool, yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, let's see what else. There's a couple of other events. Check them out in the community event calendar. I'm going to, I think I'm going to go grab Star. We talked about the giveaways. Let's do a giveaway right away before he gets in here. Which one should we do? I saw... Is our sound uh, coming through, guys? Another double sound check here. I get so excited about talking. I don't always check the chat. Apologies. Give me a shout on chat if we sound good. Let's do the weapons. Okay, cool. All right, so this will be a good check if they're paying attention. All right, the weapons are either it's your choice, ornate, what did you say? Seder. Ornate Seder, Bardish, 
or I think it's an ornate glaive. So one of the two of those, if you want a chance to win one, type, and this is in Discord or Twitch, type exclamation weapon. Exclamation weapon, go. All right, that's of your choice now. So you don't have to say which one right now, but once we select who it gets to win one of these, two people get a chance. We need you to, if you're in Discord, private message Barrick, that's myself, B-E-R-E-K, I should be in Discord, with your name, your account name, very important, your account name. I don't need to know your Discord name because obviously you're typing it to me. I need your game account name so we can award the prize to you and then give me a refresher of what you won while you're at it too, so I don't forget. And I'm still here lonely dancing by myself. Why don't you uh, switch over to, I mean, we can walk around a little bit or you can switch over to, you were there. Yeah, we, yeah. whatever you want to do, just so the camera's not completely still. Uh, it's still going, there's still a yeah, bunch of people Yeah, look at that. Some dead people too. What what's going on here? I think they partied a little too hard. I think a troll may have been summoned. Mm. Did you get hit with the uh, the drunk effect? Yeah, immediately. I got into the dance party and somebody gave me something to drink and I was like, Woo, this is too much for me. I didn't have dinner yet. I think it was Atos. Right. Uh, yeah, we party hard around here. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's actually depart the... Well, I don't think we're going to use the game at this point, so why don't we kill that and that should pop up Unity behind it. So we're going to kill the game, guys. I'm going to select the winners of this first round of giveaways, and then I'm going to go grab Star. All right, so whether you're in Discord or Twitch, we're doing both for you. Spinning the wheel. Oh, congrats to... This is someone new, Zahn, spelled X-O-N-N, -N, Zahn. I hope I pronounced that right. Congrats on one of the weapons. Right. And... Interesting name, Twitch UO. Congrats, Twitch UO. Uh, I hope that sounds, stands for Ultima Online. Go Ultima Online. Please message me, Barrick, in, if you're in Discord, with what you, which one of the weapons you want, the, the choice of the Bardiche or the Glaive. If you want to know what they look like, go on to the website front page of the add-on store. There are new items in the store. You can look at them there. And also what your account name is so we can award you. If you're in Twitch, which uh, Twitch you owe, you're in Twitch, please message Shroud of the Avatar and that'll go to me as well. Okay, so we want to use Unity, right? All right? I think if we click on this little magic check box, there it is. I think you're good. Yep. Okay, I'm going to go grab Star. Congrats, guys. We have two more rounds of prizes we'll give away. Um, Let's get star here. He has questions from the. We, we're doing the five question thing, so he's gonna have some answers for you guys on that. All right. Do I have a bow? Right. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Well, we can we can reschedule. There you go. Just sit down and fire off. Fire off. Hello. Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to just jump in and say hi and talk about stuff. Uh, of course, the biggest news this week is that Release 41 went live. So thanks everyone for jumping in and testing and playing and giving us feedback. As always, we appreciate it. And thank you, of course, for backing the project and supporting us. We are a crowdfunded project. So you guys will this entire thing into existence with your support and we greatly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and uh, uh, really that's uh, really most of my news is that it's release 41. So a lot of huge things went in. We got lots of new scenes that came in. We had uh, the costs ruins come in. We had the fall that's uh, Travis right here sitting next to me, he worked on that. Uh, we had Soul's Bridge Outskirts, which he also worked on. I think you guys are going to take a look at that uh, today. Um, <clears throat> we also had uh, uh, Verdantis Mines come online. And uh, we also had uh, new uh, gear decorations come in as well. So all the headgear and the shields and tools uh, and some more weapons. So over 200 of those. Uh, more patterns. In fact, uh, we've now added uh, the ability for... 
decorations to use the pattern system. So now uh, books can have custom covers using the pattern system. Uh, and we're going to use that same pattern system for chess next release. So the, uh, we're going to have a bunch of chests that have all the different crafting symbols on them that'll be craftable and using the pattern system. Uh, that's going to come in release 42. So a little sneak peek of what's one of the things coming in release 42. Spoilers. Um, and uh, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but I don't want to take up too much time, so I'm going to jump into five questions. See, we need a we need like a like a, a little theme. Yeah, a little, a little theme. jingle. Five questions. Community's good at that. Ding ding ding. Like that? Is that yeah, good? Or five like questions. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll work. I'll work on it. I'll work on it. Um, all right. So let's see. Is there a way to turn off on the quest tracker or turn off a single quest? Not yet, but that's something we will work on. If I cancel a quest, will I be able to pick it up later? Um, that's a good question. Uh, not yet, but something we'll work on later. Uh, this is a big one. Why does my XP pool keep running out? How do I main, maintain XP? Uh, this is a pretty uh, complex question. I had to actually uh, sit down with uh, Atos, Chris Spears, to get uh, all the information about this. So the way our game works is you have what's called an experience pool, and that fills up by doing things that earn you experience. And so you earn experience doing a bunch of different things, uh, mainly going out and fighting things that are at least your level or higher. So fighting challenging things, for instance, earns you experience. So doing things that level up your skills burns experience. So to level up your skill uses experience out of your pool. So the way your pool drains, uh, so think of this, you have a big pool of experience and then you have a bunch of skills that you wanna level up. So as you are leveling up your skills, you're pulling experience out of your pool and the way you're filling your pool is going out and fighting creatures. Now, if you're doing things that aren't filling up your pool, so doing things like say, standing around in town, healing yourself or healing your buddies to level up your healing skill, guess what? That's going to drain that pool without refilling it uh, because you're not doing anything to earn your experience. Or say you're sitting there training on your gust ball, casting gust over and over to, to level up your gust ball. Guess what? That's going to drain your experience pool and not fill it back up. Um, another thing that could be draining your pool is say you have a bunch of different skills. Say you went to the trainers and you're like, got really excited. Like, I like to do everything. And you went and learned a bunch of different skills and a bunch of different uh, schools. Like, I like blades and I like fire and I like death magic and I like crafting and you like a whole bunch of different things. If you have all of those different skills and you've set all of them to learn, they're gonna, all of them, you've got your pool of experience over here, you've got all those skills. They're all gonna be pulling from that pool all at the same time, every time those things level up. So they're gonna be draining that pool constantly. So what you wanna do is um, you wanna pick some certain skills to be leveling up at a certain time. So think about what you wanna focus on, what you wanna concentrate on. So say, I wanna focus on my blades right now, or I wanna focus on my fire magic, or I wanna focus on my chaos magic, or whatever it happens to be at the time. And what that will do is, instead of pulling everything out of your pool constantly, it's gonna focus that experience on a certain number of skills. So what you wanna do is set some skills to maintain and let the rest, um, let's, let the rest sort of sit there for a little while, and that way that'll manage your experience pool so it's not draining as fast. So hopefully that kind of answered how that works. Um, Kiku Starfish says, wow, Star's mustache is looking quite twirly. Today. Twirly today. Yeah, it's the humidity. It's kind of, it kind of it's, it's now at the sort of length that, uh, that it sort of does whatever it wants, uh, no matter what I do. So it's uh, it's uh, it's quite an exciting time in mustache land over here. So uh, let's see, how do I unlock a deck? Uh, there's a, okay, so, um, so we made a change uh, last release as part of the new user experience. So deck mechanic is a very non-standard way to do combat uh, in a game. So we, we, tr we made an intentional choice to start people out with a, a uh, very traditional kind of locked combat bar like you see in most games. And what you now have to do is you actually have to go to a skill trainer and, and get him to teach you 
how to unlock your deck and build a deck. So if you want to actually build a deck, which is kind of one of our unique features, you actually now have to go to a trainer and ask him about that, and then he'll teach you. You actually have to do that for free attack, and you have to do it uh, for uh, to unlock the utility bar as well. So those are things we added last release, and I think that some players don't know that yet. So if you want to do a deck you have, um, uh, and do unlock skills that get dealt to you, um, and have multiple decks, all that you have to learn from the trainer now. Uh, can I view the house I want before getting the bundle, try before I buy? Yes, we have a place specifically for that. It's called Hometown. It's near Sultan, uh, which is in the uh, southeast corner of the map. Um, and it's right off the coast. It's an island right off the coast near Sultan. Um, and it's called Hometown. Get it, home town, full of homes. You're I know doing, we're so job, we're so clever. I'll be here all week, people. All week, and it's Friday, so I won't be here long. Uh, see, oh man, I'm on fire. I'm on fire today. Yeah, I'm just gonna go home early. You can just take yeah. the live stream. Best release ever. <laughs> all right. So, uh, and hometown is filled with. It has every single home uh, that you can craft. Uh, every single home that you can buy in the game uh, from merchants. Uh, and it has uh, every single home that you can buy uh, from our add-on store. In addition, uh, there's uh, if you take one of the boats, um, it has uh, all the different player-owned town templates that you can see. And one of those templates, uh, it's the Tropical Island, I think 1A, which is one of the walled, uh, has even the ex homes we've expired. Uh, so you can see any of the homes that you want to look at before you buy or build or craft or purchase from a merchant in the game. And so check out Hometown, um, and it is all. And yes, I see the Vooch ass on uh, chat is the new yeah. uh, ancient temple home there. And yes, it is. I, I just added that uh, yesterday morning. So you can check that out. It's uh, up. If once you load in, you'll load in at the docks. And if you run through the town uh, and go uh, all the way through the town, uh, past the airships and to your left, you'll see it looming up uh, past the Elven, uh, where the Elven uh, section is. I almost claimed that and started decorating. You I, can. I refrained. I refrained. Why not? Go for it, man. It's Set cool. up a, like a, it's you know, cool. a, a, a Roman baths kind of yeah. vibe thing. Yeah. So, all right. That's it for me. Have fun. All right, cool. Thanks, Ginstar. All right, so we have we have some cool stuff to show you guys, but first I want to Pebo. fix this. What? Oh, Pebo. What did people say? He just asked me a question right to left. Oh, he He'll missed. See it. Well, let's see what it says. Maybe I can answer it. Star, it took me a long time to find an expired home. Is it possible to add a note on the template that shows expired home? That's a good question. I don't know the answer. I'm sorry, but I will let Star know. Promise. Make sure I don't forget that. I'm writing it down right now. All right, so let's uh, let's redo this so they don't see our faces because that's no fun. They want to see the game, right? Right. They see mine every week. I should change it up. I should like dye my hair every week. That was probably a bad suggestion because I'm, sh I'm sure the community is going to like pull it. Yeah, they're going to like pull it now or something. We have a list of hideous colors. What am I doing? All right, here's Unity. Is that just going to come up? No, of course not. All right, let's see. Oh, I got to reduce this. Here we go. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Face painting. They want you to paint your face. I depends on which color. It's all about the colors. That's the most important. It's got to look. It's got to look good, even if it's funny. Green. Okay. Well, there you go. You can drive if you want. No. What, are we, what are we? Where are we anyway? We're, I see some floating barges or something. So if you started down, if you started down the love path, which is the bow path, which is what we're encouraging people to do now, because it's the most finished, uh, kind of give people a better sense of what the game is going to be when they're all finished. Mm -hmm. You will have left Solus Bridge and come down river in a boat and this is where you ended up so solace bridge has been overrun with awful evil things looks and, quite nice right now well you've escaped solace bridge so uh, the the people have fled and the guards are still here 
I'm good about it. We, we have our next. We're already at 4.30. I'm like 10 minutes or so. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll go quick. You ended up here where the guards from Solis Bridge have now kind of set up camp in this area, which is the outskirts, Solis Bridge outskirts, kind of in the, the southeast of the of Novia. I'm not, I'm not going to talk to anyone, but there's a lot of orientation quests, um, a lot of tutorials, yeah. kind of, we're assuming people have never played before, don't know what they're doing. They're so this is definitely an early scene. Oh, this is the, the second scene you'll ever see in the game if you go down the bow path. Now we're, we described this over the last couple of live streams, but these outskirts, as I, as I mentioned in the beginning of the live stream, if you're just tuning in, this is part one of the outskirts. There are three outskirts scenes. This is the first mm -hmm. one. Now, it's now in the game. What you are seeing right now, you can check out in the game. Yeah. And there'll be two more that we'll be talking about. The weekly updates also have some information about what's coming up with those as well. <laughs> and uh, these are scenes that are essentially kind of sort of all-in-one packages. There's resources, there, uh, like vendors or something, to help get you on your way. And there's no housing in these scenes as well. So every, you know, every, like all the, the characters that you're seeing right now are NPCs, except for obviously the one we're using right now is our player. Because we're in the editor, yeah. There'll, there'll be other people running around. And yeah, so that, I, that's, good, that's a great point. So we're in the editor. Unity is what we use to develop the game. So we can show you this uh, scene today. But if you're walking around in this right now, you'll see other players. So we would have, uh, lots of those NPCs in town have some quests, there's some quests to learn how to fish, there's quests to go out and adventure through the scene and do things, and we're still working on those, but I think I think they're, they're, they're pretty fun so far, and kind of simple. Do you know if it's, the if your fish here, is it, di is it different fishing here in any way? No. Then, so it's the fishing standard, it's just like, oh, I'm here, I want to fish, and I want to fish. And keep in mind, you're supposed to be level zero so i've seen a lot of level 80 people come in and say it's too easy well you were, this is supposed to be the second um do we so, not have a bow oh i don't know uh i don't typically okay. use bow no so, but you're in unity someone's so. been playing hot tub we're gonna go get a bow <laughs> the, the in case for the bow path map sorry i'm more of a sword person but i i'm assuming i don't have a bow. anyway all right everyone don't see this real hard for that goal. <laughs> yes. Ours. Starman's telling me not to cheat. No, I don't. He's really? Me. He's telling me not to use potions because I cheated in Virtue League. You know, right? yeah, gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. If you guys have questions for Travis here on Soul's Bridge Outskirts, especially if you just got started in it and you're not sure you know, where something is, we'll... Uh, Unless it's a spoiler, yeah. we'll see if we can answer it. Why don't you move the... Yeah, move so that we can read that. Yeah, a little yeah. bit more. Yeah, there you go. We need a soda battle simulator. I don't know what that would be, but it sounds cool. There are... Uh, so if you want to check your, your damage, I'll keep this moving. There are practice dummies. So if you want to check out different decks and skills, find a practice oh, dummy. Yeah. yeah, the room we're in is the conference room. And it's named the hot tub. So the character in the hot tub is named the hot tub. So we have, we have a question here. How many serpents, spine, foothills, bandits would it take to kill a dragon? Um, Millions? Billions? With the, the regeneration of the dragon, an infinite amount. I don't know if they could DPS them. Bill, billions. So if you can get billions together, there you go. That, a, a lot. That's what I said, yeah. yeah. A lot. Now I have, oh, it'd help if I equip my bow. That's a good step. Um, so I, Sanio taught me our tools for spawning, and this is my first map doing that. I thank him a lot for the help. I did, at first, everybody's complaining the map was empty. That's because I put wolves everywhere, and they became, as soon as the scene loads, a, lot, a cool thing about our game is that uh, monsters have different factions. So on scene load, all the wolves in the whole zone just ate everything, and then Whoops. there's nothing right. but wolves in this thing because I, I didn't do it right. 
But uh, there should be more stuff now. Sounds like, and by nature, it sounds like that's how it works. Right? <laughs> Yeah, these are new scenes. This scene, this is a new scene, guys. So if you have any, you're playing through it, and unless you're level 80, like Travis said, this is a for new player scene. Yeah. If you have any, like you know, Jesus is really hard, and I'm level zero, or this really is confusing. We are, we love your feedback. Post in the forums. We have a R41 for release 41 feedback section right now for it. Yeah, I'd suggest if you're level 80 and you want to come visit this, anybody you see running around probably just joined the game. So people who hang out in Soul Town waiting for new mm -hmm. players, like, hey, you need help, you know, you stuck, and you talk. Also helping people know how to just reply to you helps, because a lot of time uh, they don't even know how to answer back. But, uh, you yeah, just do the same thing here, if you're coming here. Yeah, and it, actually a good point about that is if your experienced player that's been playing for a while and you know I'll say experience is in like you have a few hours of experience and you've been through the zone and you, you you got to know other players there's a tag that you can enable called the hospitalers tag and it's it's, des it's designated the point of it is to show actual new players that are just getting started that they can go to a hospitaler to ask questions about the game. Hey, I'm lost. Uh, and a hospitaler that has a tag enabled, you are essentially saying, hey, you can come to me and ask any questions you have about the game. I want to help you. And so if you want to come to the, these zones as an experienced player level whatever and hang out with new players, that's awesome. There, there's a lot of community members that do that. You have an invincible deer here. Have to he just check, doesn't care about you. Check that out. He's like he's got he's got the, the honey dough doesn't. Honey, honey dough is there is there only one honey is that like a single spawn here? Uh, I think wolves probably ate most of them. Look, there's a little oh the yeah those damn wolves. Heard a deer running around. All right, uh, we're getting requests from both chats. We need more prize names. Prize names. Prize names. It's a good thing I have all these prizes. Let's see, what do we got here? The backpacks or the, I, the you know, the sigil fur cloaks are pretty cool too. I haven't seen those, but I saw the backpack and it was super cool. Let's like, leave that to the end then maybe. Let's okay. do that, yeah. Sigil fur cloak of your choice. We're going to give two of these away. The choices are combat, magic, or crafting. They have a sigil on the back of the cloak that is designated one of those. You can go and to the add-on store right now, see the, the the examples on the front page of the add-on store to see what the symbols exactly are on the sigil. If you want to win one of these, exclamation sigil, that's S-I-G-I-L, Twitch or Discord. Did you delete the Valentine that Valor sent you? What? Did you delete the Valentine that a goblin hooker sent you? No, should I? Uh, he's I'm just, not sure what he's, he's asking. He sent you a valentine. I, oh. I keep all my valentines. Right? right? Yeah, I don't delete any. What are we talking about here? I have a stack uh, you know, in my closet. A shoebox with stickers. Yeah. I don't know why I said closet. That's I do too. Yeah, see, there you go. Is, there, is this a cemetery? Is this, so this is the graveyard. We kind of So you would have gone down to the farm. The farmer has some tasks for you to do. Uh, there's an alpha wolf den. I a quest. Go dig up a grave. And then when you're done, you're kind of, you know, completed and helped them out. Oh, there's another little quest line that I skipped over. That kind of rich family in town had a task for you. And uh, I don't want to spoil the story because Samuel's going to uh, put more in, I believe, about this family. They had a daughter and they lost their daughter. Mm -hmm. And a bandit down in the swamp has a painting that she painted. I won't say more than that, but I thought it was a cool story. Hmm. But uh, there's a lot of undead fight now that we're in this kind of ancient ruined village of this valley that used to run and the road kind of ran circum wandered around here this is really yeah, it's really cool i i make it a point not to see everything in a scene when i'm on a live stream because i want to be surprised like the players yeah, I, I skip and, and i'm this is yeah it's really cool i'm gonna play this this weekend if you see if you guys i'm gonna just hang out in the this scene for any new players coming in this weekend this this village has seen better times yeah. My skills are a little high for this. Oh, I think 
think we're oh, at there, it. Yep. We, yeah, it's already 440. We've got more developers coming in here. Thank you, Travis. Sure. Sorry for cutting it short. This was a great scene. If you want to check out Soul's Bridge Outskirts, it's in the game right now. Especially if you're a new player just coming in, you'll run across it. And if you're an experienced player, go, hi, go ahead and say hi to the zombies that are attacking me right now. Get that zombie off of me. He's attacking us. I think we're in God mode or something. I don't know how to use any of this stuff. I just got like basic stuff. I think you're handling it. Looks. Whoa, we've got a group of zombies. Uh, as I was saying, go go ahead and say hi to the the zombies if you want as well, or the new players that happen to be in the scene. That's not a player. <laughs> oh, we got a nasty Eben cultist archer on on camera here. He's saying, no, you are not going to be entering this area. This is my decayed village. Thank you very much. Man, his character's so much stronger than mine. Or is this the, this is the default? I don't... Yeah. I don't oh, it's know. because we're in a new area. That's why. It's tier zero. Okay. So, okay, so right. before I forget, like last time, I'm going to try not to forget, guys, on the, the really cool... We, we just gave away the second of the three prize groups. A... Uh, for Sigil Fur Cloak. I don't know if you've seen those yet. You know, they're, no, they're, pretty, they're really cool. There's the combat magic and, and the crafting choices. And I'm about to select two winners for those. And then we have the backpacks. And I don't want to forget, like last time, where we said we were going to uh, do the a giveaway for something. And then I ended the live stream. It's like, haha, April Fools. No, I don't want to do that to them again. <laughs> don't worry, we awarded two people anyway on that. All right, so. For the cloaks, we've got exclamation sigil, in case you guys forgot. That's still coming in. All right, I'm going to spin it here. Mactane, M-A-C, space T-A-I-N. Congrats on winning one of those cloaks. Let us know. Uh, you're in Discord. Let us know uh, via private messaging, Barrick, B-E-R-E-K, that's me. Private message me on Discord. Which cloak? It's either co crafting, combat, or magic. And uh, your account name as well. Need that too. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Do you want me to go to the other scene? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to be showing another scene here. We've got um, Seawolf here. And you go by Seawolf in the forums. Mm -hmm. So it's Chris Seawolf. Wolf. I always joke about that. His last name's Wolf. Where did, why don't you tell us how you got the name Seawolf, or is that private? It's not private. It's a star gave it to me because my abbreviation for my email was C Wolf, like the letter C for Chris and then Wolf, which became Sea Wolf as in Sea Ocean Wolf. I didn't know that. Interesting story. I feel I want to end the live stream on there. It's just it's like... Polly Walnuts. Polly Walnuts. Congrats also on winning. A sigil cloak. Sigil for cloaks. If you want to, if you're not sure which one you want, just go to the add-on store and you can see the types there. Congrats, guys. We have one more giveaway. We'll do that at the end of the live stream for some ornate backpacks. Uh, I got to pick one of these up for my character this weekend. Have you seen the ornate bag? It's so it's so cool. It's got like, I made I I add some of these things to the add-on store and I added the backpack to the store and I put in like it has everything you need for an adventure across the rugged mountains of New Britannia except for <laughs> of course water and food which I thought was funny but then I you know I got some reviews on that and I was like no nah, no let's just cut that out of the store and it's like you guys get what this is it does allow you to put things in it it is a container too so it's not just for looks okay cool let's see although I don't do. know if it gives you any more than what you already have that's a good question so check that out. I don't know. I didn't ask. Uh, it's in the item <laughs> store. I, I have the description all detailed there. Anyway, where what are we showing now? So we're showing Highvale Outskirts, which is a scene that you're going to load into directly after, after uh, Highvale, or the Battle of Highvale. Uh, and so this, this is, is coming... Uh, yeah, this is one of the introductory, introductory scenes, and it should be next release, I R believe. R42. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're doing this, uh, as I announced in the beginning of the live stream. Oh, I think we got... We're going to kill the music. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, you have to like yeah, move I it. I get so guess. tired of that music. Yeah, yeah, it's because it's not an update. I imagine there's no reason to put it in an update. You just gotta touch it, it to yeah. let it know. Okay, so we should be good now. The what was I saying about the outskirts? Oh yes. So at the beginning of the live stream, 
I mentioned that this is a part one live stream. We're in a, almost a month from now, we're gonna have a part two that goes and talks about more of High Vale. Okay. We're gonna bring you back on, if you don't mind, and then yes. talk about, yeah, I know. <laughs> R43 yeah, as well has, I, I think it's gonna be R43 Blood Vale. Yeah. No, 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 but what am I saying? Blood, uh, Blood River. River. Blood Blood's River, Blood River. Oh, yeah. that's right. And we're talking about yeah, some of these in the weekly updates already. That's been about as far as me, I think. We're, Is we're it? About, yeah, we're so about we, in the same spot. Yeah, there's some screenshots, some more of that. Check this weekly update out. There's some screenshots in there of those two. So, so we're already least, showing. Let me start at the beginning. I'll start at the beginning. Yeah, where, where players would come into the scene. Not, whoa, did I just do slew 309? Let's find out. 309. Ooh, you're going to get across there yeah, pretty absolutely. quick. That's what I got. Now we've got... Someone new on the team that just came on board a week ago, Damien yeah. Folletto. And he goes by the nickname of Puck, I think it I think it's his. We have uh, any of the new team members that come on board are listed in the on the main website on the uh, dev team page. You can go there and check out who's currently here at Portalarium. And Damien is now sitting next to Lum, Scott the Mad Jennings. Uh, we go call him Lum here. And he's on <laughs> the he's on the poor smart and like, yeah, we have several now. Uh, two or three, whatever. Two or three. Yeah. yeah so he's on uh, Lum is on the postmortem live streams. He also hangs out with us on the telethons. And so some of you have, you know, know who I'm talking about. And now Damien's sitting next to him, teaming up with Lum to build up some of the quests in the game because we've been getting a lot of great feedback from the community on some needed adjustments to current quests and of course new quests and there's a lot of really cool stuff they're talking about right now some of them you're already seeing in release 41 here uh, so we're, we're gonna bring him in in a second in fact why don't you go ahead steer the ship I'm going to uh, go and grab Damien and see if he's ready okay and he'll, he'll talk about some of the quest stuff Okay. Okay. Sure. Cool. All yeah. right. So what I'm showing right now, I said earlier, is Highvale outskirts, and where I'm going to right now is a monastery where the army of Highvale has kind of taken refuge. It's where they've retreated. Uh, it's this old ancient monastery. You got to take these. Uh, oh, my elevators not coming yet. Got to take these elevators to get up there. Uh, and the scene is still still being worked on, so you're going to see some bugs and some unfinished terrain and things like that. Elevator way down here. Is it already down? There it is. Like bugs like that where it crashes through the ground. That's already that's actually already been fixed. This is an older version. And here we go. And it will actually it actually starts you in this undercroft where you'll go through and there will be a guard here to greet you. And there's kind of where they have some storage. Spiral staircase. I never want to make another one of these again. <laughs> I think it took me like two hours to make, which is kind of embarrassing. Uh, and here's the, the ruined chapel. Uh, kind of put some trees in here to indicate how old you know this place is, how long ago it sort of started falling apart. Here over here we're gonna have the sort of army camp set up is where they sleep. And over here we have some crafting stations, actually all of the crafting stations. Uh, everything that comes with the uh, crafting pavilion is all under here. This actually used to be stables. You can see some some hay and stuff like that. They've just kind of repurposed it. I mean, Damien is super hard at work right now on a quest, <laughs> trying to finish something for you guys. So he uh, he's talking with a couple of other developers right now on a few things. And uh, so he, he's going to, I think, skip the live stream unless he has a break here. Um, in trying to get a lot of this stuff figured out, we are constantly talking with each other, uh, also taking your feedback uh, from the community and saying, hey, you know, the, the community in the forums, uh, this is literally how it goes sometimes. Hey, the community in the forums, they, they were saying something about this this quest, and I think we should do this, and then one developer will respond, 
and say uh, you know, something like, well, yeah, we can do that, um, but I also think in, you know, this will be even better for them. And so we consider your feedback is essentially what I'm saying. And then we talk about it and find the best ways to either implement it or uh, find an, an, another option that works for everybody. I think it's really cool because I, you know, I'm, I just moved my office. Uh, I was way down the hall, and now I'm kind of in the middle, so I get a little uh, oversight of everything that's being talked about right now. Yeah, like I'm not super active in the forums. Like I'll post, but I do, I do read what people, you know, the suggestions they give, and I definitely do consider them. Sometimes I even use them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, that's there, a good idea. I'll there, use that idea. I think know? everybody here is. Constant, not constantly, but like quite frequently, looking in the forums, and we're, we'll like part of my job is to put pool that feedback together and to say, hey, the community's saying this, um, just so you guys know, in case you didn't know that. Okay, it's a lot of walking in this map. <laughs> It'll be more interesting after it's been spawned. Uh, I remember years ago in some of the older, I won't name which MMORPGs, but, or, or even in some of the more recent games that have, you know, huge worlds, big worlds, like if you can connect some of our scenes together like this, mm -hmm. that you're just walking forever and ever and ever and ever. Yeah, and yeah. And then you find something really cool and it's like, I, you know, you're like, oh, I gotta, I gotta like say it has housing like our game does. I gotta put this in my house. You collect something, you find some treasure or whatever. You go to your house, you you drop it off, and you're like, I want to go back there and find some more stuff. I don't remember how to get back there. It was like two hours or something. Oh, you can mine here. That's cool. Well, yeah, he's actually breaking through a wall. Oh, never I don't mind. have mine. Yeah. I don't have mine known set up, but there's going to be a few in here. Well, you can use a. Can you use a, anything other than a pickaxe to break that down? I don't know, but if it doesn't break in one hit, I'm just going to slither it, <laughs> which it probably won't. Success. You got it. Yay. Somewhat. So what's in here? This looks dangerous. So this is just a back. Uh, back entrance to the cobalt mining camp um this was put in uh via damien's request damien wanted this part of a quest thing so but sure make it interesting uh plus with these with these intro maps i kind of wanted one of them to be like a sample of of soda as a whole right like in terms of environment art and things like that so i'm trying to it's nice to be able to get this diversity you know, you have the outdoor and indoor. There's also a crypt uh, in this scene. That all, oh, in that here too. We, we were going through a crypt in, uh, well, I don't think it was called a crypt, um, but. It's like a tomb or something like that. No, yeah. it, was, it wasn't underground. It was just a, it was like a cemetery. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Graveyard. Or graveyard. Cemetery. Yeah. yeah. And this is where the kobolds will be. Liz the Wiz out. on Discord says, uh, you, you didn't miss it. We're still live streaming. We have a few more minutes left. We had Travis showing off the current in in the game, um, the the first uh, scene, Solsbridge outskirts, and now we have Seawolf here who is showing his High Vale outskirts, which will make it into we're hoping R42. Um, just as an update that we're still going along here for a few more minutes at least. And we have one more prize to give away too. I'm going to slow around a little bit just to, this map is so big and we have limited time. I, kind of I, lo I love, it's my really favorite thing about this scene is the, and, and we have this in other scenes too, I think, the, mm -hmm. the ruggedness of some of the buildings and, you know, the overgrowth that you see. I don't know if that's moss or. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's ivy, yeah. Ivy, that's cool. uh, with some touches of moss. So this is like a hunter's cabin. There's actually lots of structures like this out here. Uh, let me see if I can find one for you real quick. Yeah, I'm a, I There's play. There's sort I, of scattered throughout the wilderness. You have these um, little hunting uh, platforms. Is there one over here? I think there's one over here. There it is. That's cool. There's like one, two, three, four, like six of these out here. That, scattered throughout. This is a big hunting map. You know, you have all this space. You might as well use it for hunting. Uh, we also have a fishing. I think I started the map there. We have a little have fishing a area there. too. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, so, did you cover what you can hunt? Uh, no, not yet. So, it's probably going to be deer, wolves, bears, uh, rabbits. Oh my. Yeah. Oh no, not the rabbits. There's also a boat. The boat is off track right now, but there will be a boat here that you can actually hop on and. It's just traversing the <laughs> swampy. Like you get yeah. a lot of good fish out here in the 
seaweed or whatever that is. Uh, you know, oh, I gotta be careful of that though because it clips through the boat. <laughs> oh, so yeah. I have to make a path for it. Uh, no, it's I've actually ram the dock. That. Oh, a turn there. It is. Yeah, and that's like your opportunity to jump on there, and you can actually fish from there. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so that's the little fishing. fishing yeah, we boat. had a, a. Travis was telling me about Solis Bridge outskirts that there are uh, a lot of wolves in the scene because wolves ate everything else. <laughs> Yeah, I can see that. You gotta, you gotta be careful about how you place spawning and things like that. I might actually have wolves and bears and stuff like that actually on a follow waypoint path just to make sure they don't interact with each other too much. Uh, so I'm gonna show the crypt off, the crypt off real quick. I made this two days ago. And over a little bit of overgrowth, not as used. All I see some candles here. Yeah. Kind of a cool, creepy feel. It's small, you know. It's not a full level by any means. This is just a. Maybe we'll have a little mini boss. Not a boss, boss, but any like a tier two or Easter tier three. eggs in here you, that you don't want to talk about, but uh, no, not, no, not really. Maybe in the maybe some point in the future. Maybe. There's always. We're <laughs> I always, do. I don't mention it. Yeah, <laughs> we we talk about that quite a bit too. Is well, there's secrets in the game, secret passageways, secret doors, and. I mean, even some of the houses you can get in the game have secret little rooms. But it's a secret. I don't know how to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> and including uh, Artifice, which now is in the game. We've talked a lot about oh, that. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm Scotty is excited to play that. <laughs> yeah, i got to cool. play that this weekend as well. I'm going to hang around the Souls Bridge outskirts for new That's players. But so. hey, I want to go in through and walk through Artifice and... Again, and just you know, I was I haven't been in the game. I haven't been there at all. So yeah, it's really Scotty's done a huge amount of work on that. The, we're putting that artifice. In fact, this weekly update, we had a little bit about artifice in there or last week as well. So check the weekly updates. Uh, all of our blog posts from the developers, when we talk about these scenes, are posted in the forums. So you can go and check those out. Sometimes they're in the Dev Plus section of the forums. Dev Plus is for anybody join, just joining us that uh, doesn't know what Dev Plus is. Dev Plus is originally when we had the Kickstarter for Charlie Avatar. It was one of the tier options, or not tier option, but an option within some of the higher level tiers that give, gave you access, gives you now still access to early testing of the game. So these builds each month will put out a QA for quality assurance QA dev plus build on the QA server about a week or week and a half uh, we try to do as early as possible for those dev plus players to check it out in advance and you know, see what you see and let us know what you think before it goes to the masses and while the obviously the Kickstarter has been, been done for a little while now you can still get the dev plus access you just go into the add-on store and there's bundles have it and uh, a couple of other options as well, should you wish to help us test these releases out early. Cool, cool. So here we got the elf camp. I'm going to show this, and I'm going to show one more thing, and that's going to be pretty much the whole map. Okay, actually. no, that's perfect. And then we'll do the prize and call it a day. Got some dead people over here. Have, were, they bad or, were they bad or were they unfortunate souls? Uh, I don't know. I'll leave that up to you. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're unfortunate. This is the elf encampment. Not the not the nice elves. The yeah, the not nice elves. There we go. Yeah, let's give it a look here. There you go. This is cool. Yeah, this is just a little military encampment. These are the same elves that attacked Highville. So. We've been really working on the the lighting. It's really been improved. The shadows and lighting of the scene are amazing. Well, thank you. And that's I'm not, that's yeah. mostly Hutch and you know, yeah. Justin, I think. <laughs> it's, 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 it's my honest feedback, even though I'm a developer here, too. You know, some of the communities like, hey, you're a developer, too. You can't say that. Of course I could say that. It's like, I really feel that. This is really cool. So one more thing I'm going to show, and that's our tiger trap, which Richard, uh, it, his, it was his idea. He made me do it. Oh, cool. Although it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Do we have tigers in the game? We don't have tigers. So a tiger trap isn't a trap with a tiger in it. It is a trap to catch tigers and other large animals. It's just a generic. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I think that's a generic that's name called for that a type in real life, of. I think. Yeah. We we may not call it that in the game. I don't think we call it anything in the game. It's just a trap. Um, if I can find one. There's one. Oh, 
We have damage on. Solazur is asking for prizes in Ain. We will get to that uh, right after this, I think. Oof. And you fall on some spikes. That's not good. Yeah. It's not showing me getting hurt because I think I'm in God, God mode. Yeah. But... Still, it's painful. Quick, get out of there. I'm like imagining yeah, here. There's some roots for you to climb out. Oh, that's cool. That's good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's mostly, you know. Do you have a fishing pole? Can you go fishing? I don't know if this character has a fishing pole. I can find out. Check the inventory. Let's see here. Yeah. Looks like a good fishing day for, for this. I don't know if I have the skill, though. You have to have the skill, too. Oh, yeah. I don't see it. Do you no, have a fishing yeah, rod? Yeah, fishing rod. Well, yeah. Already, it's already equipped. Already uh, already. Yeah, I'd have to assign the skill, though. I don't, I don't know if I have it. Wow, you got everything. All right, go to crafting. Is it under crafting? I think so. Oh, you're right. Yeah, there it is. Why do I always do that? Now they change it to the drag that. Drag this? Yeah. No. Anyway. There, yeah, we, there go. we go. There yeah, we go. so that one. Yes, we know how to play our own game. It's not there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, there it is. It's hard to see. It's faded out because I can't fish here. I am right next to a water zone trigger complete, so it should let... Oh, you know, I don't have bait. Yeah, fishing's a whole thing. No, it's not going to let you... Cause <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have bait, so I won't be able to fish. Oh, well. So, you guys uh, challenge somebody, uh, go fishing, take a screenshot. We want to see somebody fishing. See what On you catch. On the boat. Do it on the boat. There it oh, is. There. Oh, you got it. There it is. All right, There's let's give away that prize. Possible. It's my favorite of the three ornate backpacks. We've got two to give away. It's been quite popular. I've seen several people in the game this morning running around with them. Any questions before I give this away? Here, let me actually, I should have asked first. Oh, uh, yeah, somebody yeah, else can figure out. Yes, I do need to. Yeah, the, the skills and things change quite frequently, so. Please uh, allow us some some leeway on exactly where things are sometimes, especially when we're live streaming. We're trying to think of what to talk about and not always what button to press. All right. I also so don't fish very well. Exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> many skills. I'm not really a fisherman either. I like doing the mining. Personally. Yeah. I'm a little, yeah. I like mine. All right. We're gonna give away those backpacks. Let's keep it simple again, as always. Exclamation backpack if you want to win one. be discord or twitch exclamation backpack you only need to type it once now if you message us for a previous prize we we are getting your messages uh, we haven't had a chance to respond yet so give us a little bit also if you win something now for the backpacks, please make sure you message Barrick on Discord, or if you're on Twitch, message Shroud of the Avatar with your account name and what you won. And we'll award that to you within the next few days. We usually don't get to it this late on a Friday. Sorry about that. Also, as a reminder, I almost forgot, the last live stream, we've been a little backed up on, on being able to award some of these prizes. Apologies for that. The, the previous live stream prizes are in processing. It's not quite as simple as a quick one button press, but that is that will get to you guys. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be this weekend either, but we're, I'm going to double check when we're done with the live stream. It is in processing, so don't worry. If you want to remind me, hey, I won this last week, uh, go ahead and feel free to message me. Give a couple more seconds on exclamation backpack. I'm just going to wander around in this. Okay, cool. <laughs> like it's like fall over here or some of the some of the dead trees or yeah well you got snows in the mountains so oh, yeah. i figured you know spring it probably wouldn't be spring could have been spring i guess but yeah this actually looks like a very similar area i used to go hiking near las vegas the, the desert las vegas nevada you wouldn't think that there's good hiking spots there but it's amazing red rock is cool if you travel a little bit a couple hours uh northeast to utah neighboring state there's uh, the Zion National Park, 
Oh man, I haven't been there. Terrific in a long for hiking. Time. Yeah. But even just right by Vegas, there's mountains that you can travel up, and there's no well, there's some snow sometimes on the, the mountain caps, but this area with the trees actually hasn't. There's a similar area like that. So it's reminding me of it's very cool. I know I have some hunting platforms out here. It might be a little harder to there. We go. Right there. Oh yeah. It's mm -hmm. hard to see. Drager asks, "Is there a sale this weekend?" Yes, there is. If you go to, if there's a label, a banner, you have to go to the add-on store, but we also have it in the weekly update. The email, if you're subscribed to your emails, to our emails, you'll get the complete list of all the new sales and new content that we put out every week. The sale for this, the flash sales, what we call them, weekend flash sales, is for city plus properties. So that's some city city or larger homes and uh, properties, uh, lots and, and things like that. So check out that list. Uh, it's, it's detailed in the weekly update on what's included in that sale. And if you're wondering, well, I want to own a home or I want to get a lot, but you know I don't want to get in the Adam store. We have tons and tons and tons of items that are craftable. There are ways to get a lot you can you can even some other players will sell lots for in-game gold they have a couple of extra lots but we also have the monthly raffle and we just announced the r40 release 40 raffle winners who won a lot that they can place a house on and if you want a chance to get in on the release 41 current raffle uh, you can do that there's instructions in the forms for that and all you have to do is just jump in the game it's there you it's all in game, and you'll be put into the once you get a lottery ticket, a raffle ticket, excuse me, you'll uh, you'll be in the system for when we award release 41 lot deeds at the end of release 41 in a few weeks. So now you're in like the the cathedral or something. What would you call this again? Um, we're amongst the monastery. The monastery. Yeah, yeah. I, that's a, I don't know why I always forget that word. Uh, yeah, I'm just wandering around. And high up talk. on the the mountain here is quite high from where you were a minute ago. Yeah, this draw distance is pretty far. <laughs> wow. All right, so let's uh, see who won those backpacks. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Willix, Wylix, W Y L E X. Congrats on winning one of the backpacks. Spinning, spinning. And Darth Red. Also, congrats on winning one of the backpacks. Bonus points for taking a screenshot of your backpack once you get it and posting it up on social. Uh, do an at uh, Shroud of Avatar. And, and do that for anything, guys. If you, if you want to show something that you want us to like thumbs up, or retweet, you know, if it's cool. At Shroud of Avatar, I see those on a daily basis. I check every single At Shroud of Avatar that people send on Twitter. And if you have a screenshot or something that you're like, hey, look at the, you know what I did here. This is really cool. I may retweet it. You know? So if you're if you're that kind of person who likes loves tweeting or Facebook. So uh, Israta had a question. He was asking about lighting. If uh, do we use uh, ambient light at all, or do we rely solely on the directional light? And it's we use. 90% certain that we use some ambient. We use some of the stuff from the sky down. Like if I were to go into that crypt from earlier, right, and then change the time of day, it actually changes the color of the sky down, which has an effect on lighting. That's we cool. do use a directional light there too. Yeah. Um, but I am not the guy to ask. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, we, I'm not in charge uh, of lighting. I, I do guess. know we've been working on lighting extensively. In fact, I'm usually just uh, asking questions like, what's going we, on? We have somebody who's an effects artist who's new to the team as well who's doing some tweaks to that. If you guys noticed the improvement to the fire in some of the scenes and some of the other effects uh, that have changed recently, yeah, you can thank our new FX artist for that. And he's, he's been doing some amazing work on that as well. Yeah. Yeah, you notice how that, how that just oh, got cool. darker in there? Yeah, we've it's got... because that sky dome color is changing. Yeah, we took a screenshot of this, I think, for the...
for the weekly update. Yes, yeah, oh, I that's did. Cool. I got it in here. Yeah. I kind of like this. I more used it for the I email, know. actually. All right. Well, I think that's it, folks. We're past our time. You guys have a great weekend. Thank you again for joining us at the, as always, awesome Fire Lotus dance party for our releases. We had a great time. Uh, several developers joined us at two, four o'clock, right before this live stream kicked off. Fact, we were running. We were in the dance party when we started the live stream <laughs> for a few minutes. Yeah. And I like to do that. And thank you everybody on Discord. Thank you everybody for following on Twitch. Let us know if you have any remaining questions about the scenes that you saw today. There's also more about them in the weekly updates and the blog posts that these guys put out in the Dev Plus section of the forums. If you have any you know, follow up like, hey, this is really cool. Uh, or especially for uh, the current uh, outskirts scene, Soul's Bridge outskirts that is now into the game. Uh, let us know what your feedback is on that. We have the R41 feedback section of the forums open to everybody to get your feedback. And there's also a section there specifically for bugs. So if there's something wrong, please put it in there. If there's some general feedback, ideas, improvements, put it in the feedback section. Or if you have any other game stuff to talk about, there's other, there's a whole bunch of categories in the forums. Uh, we're you know always in there looking at your feedback, even if we don't get a chance to respond. Until then, uh, we'll have a couple more live streams up to the part two of this Outskirts two-part series. I haven't done a two-part. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> so I, I don't know if we're going to have a live stream next week, but we did just announce in the calendar. I don't know if everybody saw this, but we have the date set for the R41 postmortem, which is going to be on May 8th. So that's not next Monday, but it's a Monday after that. So I don't know if we're going to have an actual live stream this coming Friday. We actually have some tours kicking off here. Some uh, guilds are going to be visiting us here uh, at the studio. So if you're ever in Austin, this is where we're based, feel free to message me, Barrick, and say, hey, I'd like to come by and say hi. And let's see if we make that happen.